technically shitting, uh, but I don't pick up my load till tomorrow on the uh, 15th, Saturday, so, uh, just trying to find something to do, you know, as a truck driver, you know, we sit a lot, and we drive, and sometimes we don't get a lot of exercise, so, basically what I do for exercise, you know, I get out, clean up the truck, or, uh, polish my, my rims, so that's what I'm doing right now, I'm out here working on my, I'm out here working on my truck right now, I'm over here, uh, Polishing the new rim. This is the new truck, so so I'm out here polishing. And see how? Look at it, sparkling, man. So that's why I already did that one. I haven't did this one yet. About to jump on that one right now. So that's what I'm doing. I'm out here polishing it up, getting it cleaned up. You know, getting the truck clean. You know, I run into a I run into a lot of company drivers that uh. You know, they'll see me out here washing the truck or wiping down the truck, <clears throat> doing my rims. They ask me, man, why you do that, man? You're a company driver. Well, here's the thing, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a company or an owner-op. I mean, I've ran into a lot of owner-ops that don't keep their truck clean. And I ran into a lot of them that do, you know. But the thing is, me, you know, I take pride in everything I do. You know, I live in this street. Even though I'm a company driver, I still get paid to drive. Um, you know. I live in this truck, man. I spend most of my time in, in and out of this truck, you know. So me, my creed is I like to look good, you know, no matter what I'm driving. I'm driving a big rig or whatever. So, you know, I, I, I try to keep it clean, you know. So, like, if you see, check out my, here's the back of the truck. It's probably, like, the hardest part to clean right here. See the smokestacks? See how they shining? Now, this is my new truck, but when I got it, it didn't look, it wasn't this shining. You know, I got it cleaned up. And now I'm out here polishing the rims. The truck wash did an amazing job, man, with that hot water and stuff, uh, which I did in another video. But anyways, you know, I know a lot of you guys write me, email me, you know, especially the ones that start in school at Swift. Hey, good luck to everybody. I think you're making a great decision. Swift is a great company. Don't let nobody, you know, tell you anything, you know, about whatever, you know, because people are going to have their comments. Uh, people are going to say, you know, a lot of stuff about Swift or any company. Right now, you know, right now, you know, freight slow everywhere. It picks up and it slows down, but when the economy gets better, you're going to be glad you made that, that choice, you know. Like I say, I'm still new to this too, you know, and I run pretty good. So, uh, you know, good luck to all you you guys out there that's uh, hit me up on YouTube, MySpace, Twitter, that's going to Swift. Uh, I will get back to replying to some of your messages that you sent me. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, good luck. And when you get out here, man, there's nothing wrong with taking pride in, in your truck. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't let all these old jerks out here tell you, man, don't wash your truck. It's the company truck. It doesn't belong to you. You don't need to wash it. Hey, they Swift issued this truck out to you. This is your truck. You're responsible for this, to this, for this truck until you turn it in. So if you want to take pride into your truck, keep it clean. This is how you roll. Go ahead. You heard it from Big Cat. You got my permission. Don't let them out there tell you not to do it. You're wasting your time because you're not wasting your time. You know, I got to keep these guns. got to keep these guns. You know, I got to stay in shape some kind of way. You know, I try to do a little walking or whatever. But if I can't do that, you know, this is a workout in itself. You know, so I come out here and polish up my rims, wipe down my truck. And, uh, you know, after I get my truck washed, then, you know, I go through a couple days and, you know, start looking a little dirty. This is what I use, man. This is what I use right here. Windex. This is not a commercial for Windex. It says green works on it, because that's what I had in there first. But I've just been keeping this bottle for like, what, about four months now, and I just keep put, putting Windex in it. And I don't even buy Windex brand, you know. I don't even buy the Windex brand. I just buy the cheap old Walmart stuff, you know. And I just spray it on the truck, get a towel or whatever, spray it on the truck, and wipe it down, you know, like a dry wash. And uh, it keeps it pretty clean, you know. So, uh... Just want to just take pride. You know, all you Swift drivers, all you other truck drivers that's out there work for any, any other company. 
You know, people people bitching at you about, you know, taking pride in your truck. Hey, don't don't listen to it. Take pride in your truck, man. Ride clean. You know, clean the inside because you live in there. You know, we do everything. I ain't going to get into it with, you know, what truckers do inside of their trucks, but you already know. We do everything. Especially me, I do everything. I cook, clean, do everything in my truck. So, so uh, just wanted to show y'all that. That's why I'm at right now. I'm in Georgia, Decatur, Georgia. So, I'm about to finish up. Finish up my wheels and uh and go get me a shower, give me something to eat. Alright. Peace.